Okay, just a quick uh, another video about everlasting life and the implications of believing on Christ. Uh, the cool thing is that once you do believe, you're given everlasting life. The thing is that when we come to Christ and we've been given light by God to have positive volition toward the words of God and that we believe the gospel because faith cometh by hearing. In the first place, faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Uh, that's what's so blessed that those that preach the gospel and uh, the light goes off, right? The light goes off that, uh, wow, there's something to this. And God gives more light as you seek God. Not I mean, I'm talking about those before they have been born again. But you have positive volition toward God. You realize you're a sinner, but there's something more to this life. I mean, the stars, the, the everything that God's made, we can't deny it. And there's something in you that seeks God. And it's volition, just like if you wanted to lift up your arm, right? You lift up your arm. You wanted something. Um, it's a, that's a miracle in and of itself if you think about it. No, you just will it. I lift, my, lift up my arm. That's a blessing. A lot of people cannot do that. It's the same in salvation. We've been given volition to believe on Christ. Uh, but when we have the light that God has shined, we have a, a volition to believe and have more light, to believe on Christ or not to believe on him. Now, the, the thing with eternal life, being part of the gospel, is God does offer a way out. You realize you are a sinner on your way to hell before you're saved. You do realize that. That life, there's something after this life, and you're going to have to take an account. And you're going to have to stand before God. There's something that light. If you to believe on Christ, then you must believe that absolutely you're going on your way to hell before you do believe. Okay? And that's what we, we're out. It's an escape plan. It's a, if you will, it is an escape plan. And God enlightens you to realize you're on your way to hell. So the idea that God does give everlasting life to those that believe, and that is part of the gospel, I see that. Yes, it is a part of it in a, in a sense. But you don't get everlasting life until you believe. I think most of you get that. Um, but God does, uh, you know, you realize you are a sinner on your way to hell and need a savior. So we, we by the, God, the grace of God, that he enlightens us. And we, as we have positive listens to the words that we heard, faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God.